Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you? We meet again uh, in our live lecture. Okay, but uh, right now I want to bring a new topic. A new topic for you, uh, which is uh, still in the business context, but more interesting topic. Uh, we actually we already involved in it. Everyone. Okay. Hi. <laughs> See you again. All right. So this uh, topic actually will talk uh, regarding on a, a discipline in a business uh, management. We call it as a international business. Okay. International business. Okay. Hi there. Okay. So uh, before we go any further, okay. Uh, this is uh, the first lecture for international business course and I would like to welcome to the to all the students enrolled in this course okay, this semester I, uh, I'm teaching uh, another course uh, beside uh, marketing and selling financial business uh, financial services we have the summit marketing we have marketing research sales management and another one is marketing management so right now i have in the six uh number six course which is international business so this is this course will be carried in english so uh if anything that you not cannot go with me you can ask in the group and i will try to give you the answer so today we go to the first because we have delayed a few a uh, few weeks and I will try to put uh, back our course in, uh, into track and make sure we can finish it uh, on time. Okay, so let me share with you uh, the first topic. We talk about globalization. Have anyone heard about this term? Globalization. Normally, people talk about global. So what I mean by global? It talk, people were talking about borderless. Okay. You can go beyond your national border. You can go uh, to another country. Okay, right now it's not ourselves. Uh, uh, the only person can have the access, but also business have the access to reach uh, to other countries' uh, territory and expand your business beyond your local borders. Okay, so let me start with the. Uh, uh presentation eight uh as uh, it can help you to understand more huh? all right so let's go okay globalization okay. why are we trying to have uh in this topic okay so you may have to know uh, uh, what types of companies okay that involve in international business not all companies can have but every uh, each company have the possibility the opportunity to join in and become a global company okay so as a uh, after that, uh, you can explain globalization and how it's affect market and production. There's some differences might occur when you uh, turn your business into a business which is global recognized. 
Okay, detail the forces that drive globalization. What kind of forces? Um, maybe big focus of uh, forces of uh, economy, the competition, the regulation. Okay, All right. So it also can help can uh, drive your business go further beyond uh, beyond the beyond the border. Okay, outline the debate about globalization impact on job and wages. And uh, summarize the debate about income inequality. Uh, you can outline the debate about culture, sovereignty, and the environment. When come to global, when uh, giving somebody else uh, to to penetrate our market, also have several risks that you should uh, you should know, and this risk should be managed well. Uh, in order to make sure your local production also protected. Uh, and also another country also think the same thing as we are. Okay, so identify how this will help you to develop skill for your for your career, inshallah, in the future. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. Okay, All right, can we take this as an example? Okay, uh, Apple's global impact. Okay, have you heard about Apple's? Okay, I sure, uh, I'm, but not mine. I don't have it. Okay, but uh, you, uh, maybe your friends or have uh, the opportunity to have this uh, gadget, or we call it as a, the the uh, devices produced by Apple. Okay, so. Uh, as you can see, sometimes you, you can uh, look Apple doesn't have so much uh, modification uh, as uh, they make sure the product uh, acceptable worldwide, right? So when doing that kind of strategy, implement the, that kind of strategy may help the, may help the organization to minimize, minimize the cost. Okay, let me charge my phone first. Okay, but this is not iPhone, right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, at the same time, uh, it also may have uh, Apple's uh, to be a strong uh, branding, uh, brand um, strategy okay, across the world. So, what happened? Uh, maintaining those uh, entity, the the brand might giving a certain level uh, to the to the products, yeah. Especially when talking about price, okay. When uh, to make sure the product uh, acceptable worldwide, price uh, is a, a very much concern uh, matters, okay. Then uh, that's why some of us may not afford to have uh, Apple device. Okay, but still, um, people out there uh, can have it uh, if you can afford to buy. All right, this is an example. Okay, this is an example. All right, okay, let me continue. Okay, the international business. So. This is a new course might be for you, and this is uh, the way uh, very not so familiar, okay, for you to have uh, since we have the lectures, online lectures uh, in English, so I uh, might be uh, giving you, uh, call it as uh, some difficulty, but I'm sure Everyone can have a uh, good understanding. I try to put uh, the using the simple words, and uh, I we will have a discussion at another places in our discussion group. Okay, so international business, right? When talking about international, mean you go beyond our country's border. Okay, either your business uh, internationally located or your product have the opportunity to go beyond the border. So any transaction 
uh, between you and uh, the count, uh, other country's client mean you have done a certain transaction considered as a international transaction. Okay, so uh, commercial transaction that crosses the borders of two or more nation. Okay, there are at least two. Why when uh, you doing a transaction locally mean you don't have the environment we call as a international or global global transaction okay and this another term you may heard already import and export okay we rely so much uh, for everything that imported uh, to into our country and some other country also rely on our goods uh, our goods our product that uh, was exported to their to their country okay because why because uh certain country not have uh, not have sufficient resources uh don't have um, the capability the the expertise in product uh, producing certain certain product okay uh, when talking something related to uh topical product they might find uh, those kind of product in the country that located in in the tropical climate okay when talking about a product uh, like uh, for example um, related to uh, produce in desert uh, you cannot uh, for example you cannot plant your your, your certain herbs in a tropical climate, you may import them. So anything that come up from uh, come from other country to into our country we call as import. Okay, everything that comes from our country to another country, <clears throat> okay, we consider as export. Okay, we send abroad, we sold to other other people in other trees okay all right who's the key players okay who's uh, the people who are considered doing business internationally okay First, large companies from the wealthiest nation, I mean, yeah, developed nation. Okay, right now, most of the country in the world struggling, fighting uh, COVID-19. Okay. Uh, we don't talk about uh, the, 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 you call it, uh, the ec uh, economic resources. But somehow they are, they are struggling. Um, this is a, also a challenge for for people who are doing business uh, across uh, or uh, cross your border, your borders. Okay, firms from emerging markets. Okay, firms from emerging markets. If, uh, for example, uh, China growing up a lot expand their business worldwide okay small and medium sized companies okay also can be a key players in the international business multinational corporation uh, the term multinational also means tell us uh, that was uh, located in several count countries for example samdabi multinational corporation what other thing petronas having so many operation uh, offshore okay bond global global firm okay all right this is a key players yeah consider as a they are a people who are, or business doing in uh, in the scope or in the environment international okay so they are going go global Okay, as you can see, uh, enlarge it for you. As you can see there, the 
top dan uh, the largest company okay in the world uh, according to the Fortune Global 500 the largest corporation in the world first country was Sweden okay after that United States what different between those two okay can we see here all right Hmm. Can we spot Malaysia? Oh, Malaysia, Malaysia there in the middle. Okay, in the middle. All right, Malaysia also ah uh, enlist ah uh, in the Fortune Global 500, the largest countries in the world. Okay, this is a uh, few from the 500. Okay, not all in there. Right. Okay. What the difference between green and yellow uh, bar, uh, which is indicated there? Uh, uh, the yellow, uh, yellow line indicate that these are the only companies. Okay, Sweden they are not identify which company, but young uh, it's a yellow one uh, indicate which company. Okay, the the, the top rank uh, is uh, in term uh, the company Walmart stores that was USA United States of America. Okay, all right. This is uh, just quick links, uh, quick study. Okay. What the what is the value of goods and services that all nation of uh, are the world export every year? Okay, you can find it. You can Google it. Okay, a business that has direct investment in marketing or manufacturing subsidiaries in multiple nation, countries is called a what? Okay, a bond global firm engaged in international business from or near its inception and does what else? Okay, so you can uh, try to find it. Okay, I'll try to give you a book later inform uh, the updates getting on the book. Okay, but uh, on the handout, uh, about the handout and live session will be ready, uh, will be ready in the learning management system. Okay, just uh, after we finish, you can view live, but still you can have the access on my video uh in my youtube channel okay in my youtube channel you can go to uh my youtube channel and then you can subscribe to get update okay i forgot to bring you uh, to give you a ticker okay Oh, sorry, not this one. Where's another one? All right. Okay, so this is our first topic. Might yeah, give you some uh, difficulties to to get along, but it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You can get my uh, my bio. Okay, I put my bio, and some of you might recognize me in Department of Management at. FMIT, yeah, the of Management and Information Technology. Okay, what is globalization? Okay, we're done talking about the international business, inter international uh, transaction, cross-border transaction, the import, export, okay, the key players. Right now, we talk about the globalization. Why is globalization? Okay. It's a trend. 
okay trend uh, to a great uh, greater economy cultural political and technological interdependence among national institutions and economies okay so globalization is characterized by denationalization and globalization also different from internationalization okay this have several differences uh, we talk uh, about it okay what different okay what are the differences between uh, between denationalization and internationalization okay denationalization talking about uh, something you have done oh my god when uh, your border become less, we call it less relevant. Okay, when talking about uh, border, it's not a, a major concern anymore. How about the internationalization? Is uh, entities cooperating across national boundaries? That yeah, we we'll call it as internationalization. Okay, denationalization. Uh, I mean, uh, in the, this globalization term, I want to tell you when you implement globalization, the global move mean you uh, don't put a uh, border. Your 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 national border is as the main concern as the uh, hinder factor of your business expansion. Okay, that's why globalization encourage business to go further, to go wider and reaching all those people beyond your, beyond your local, local border. All right. Globalization of market. What is a uh, globalization of market? It's a convergence in buyer preferences in market around the, the world. Okay. Uh, when you try to buy something, this is, right now I just experienced buy seafood. Okay. Normally when we talk about seafood, we think about the wet market, right? But, when you become a global consumer, sometimes your seafood might be located at another country. For example, I was uh, in Korea, uh, certain products from uh, California. Okay, we try to find uh, uni, uh, the, the sea urchin, the uni, and you can have a uh, few companies that provide uh, selling a product from from their country to uh, to our to our country. So, uh, the globalization of market mean the preferences become uh, not stick to the one uh, one place, but uh, it's open and expanded uh, more than even beyond national border. Okay, so it's talking about around, around the world. Globalization of production mean dispersal of production activity worldwide to minimize cost or maximize quality. Okay, so I can find few things here. Uh, very interesting. Uh, it's interesting topic. Have you uh, experienced about something that a branded one and you see when you you try to read the tag you try to read the manuals after that you will identify and notice that your product is not uh, produced in the uh, countries that companies uh, establish from 
For example, uh, talk about uh, I'm not making inquisition that uh, what I want to tell you a product that was sold in uh, very branded out, uh, very branded outlet, and the tech tells me made in Cambodia. That was a branded one, but it was produced in another country. Why? Because first uh, consideration having your production go globally is to minimize the cost as much as possible. Why? You try to put the price, the good price that uh, will accepted by the by the market. If you produce uh, on your own, it might uh, cost you a lot because you need to pay higher uh, wages for your operators. Uh, I mean, uh, in manufacturing sector, uh, having another plant in, in another country uh, where in terms of their uh, labor cost much more cheaper, why not having uh, your manufacturing there? Okay, that's what we call as a globalization of production. Okay, mean you produce your product at another country on behalf of your your uh, your offer. Okay, All right. So globalization of markets. Okay, first reduce what kind of benefit that you will have. Okay. So first is reducing marketing, marketing costs. Okay. People or company that sell global product reduce cost by standardizing certain marketing activities, uh, achieve further cost saving by keeping an ad visual component the same for all market, but dubbing TV ad and translating print ad into local local language. Okay, reduce marketing cost. Put generic information to everyone, uh, everyone in the world, but use a uh, certain uh, modification on. Uh, I mean, uh, if mentioned, uh, it's mentioned here about dubbing, changing voices. Sometimes you might you might uh, fortunate to to, to watch uh, uh, cartoon. I was experienced uh, Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse produced in USA, but you can heard about uh, Arabic translation. That's what uh, uh, step. Uh, to reduce the cost and also to minimize uh, to minimize the effort uh, in manufacturing or producing another another ads or another advertisement okay using their language create new market opportunity okay a company that sell a global product can explore opportunity abroad uh, if its home market is small and become saturated Okay, when, when market become global, uh, you look further or look beyond to have uh, expansion on your numbers of potential consumer. Okay, uh, yes, certain uh, environment or market environment Okay, my indicate you are not having the opportunity. You are not um, attract so much your local uh, local uh, interest, but your product might be might be in uh, having good attraction uh, from other from other countries. Okay, that's why some people uh, prefer to have a. Uh, product that produce globally rather than locally because sometimes locally not local uh, a 
attached with the issue of the quality, whatever. Yeah, that's why uh, this company look for something, uh, go to fill it in, fill it in the gap, and they try to find more or beyond because they are, they are local market already, already saturated, or we call it as a com very uh, competitive in terms of, um, I mean, the very fierce comp competition among, among themselves, among the players, okay? And third, level uneven income stream. Okay, set up. Uh, this is where a company that sell a product with a universal but seasonal appeal can use international sales to level its income. Income stream mean uh, to balance to uh, diversify the 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 channel, and also at the same time to. Um, make sure have a sturdy uh, earning for them. Okay, if they focus only one, but uh, sometimes if uh, their country is, uh, suffer certain uh, situation uh, economically uh, not favor. Okay, so having that uh, global of market globalization of market might help them. Okay, local buyers need. Okay. In the pursuit of potential benefit of global market, manager must constantly monitor the match between the firm's product and the market in order to not overlook the need, the needs of buyer. The benefit of serving customer with an adapted product may outweigh the benefit of standardized, standardized one. Okay, so they try to bring and uh, to bring uh, something uh, or offer. Uh, a product or services that uh, that up to up to certain standard, okay, up to certain standard, global standard, and globally accepted. Global sustainability, okay, this is where uh, another uh, benefit, okay, where a multinational uh, corporation might consider is. The need among all the world citizens for sustainability development that meet the needs of the pre uh, present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own to meet their own needs. Okay, this is a uh, few benefits of globalization of market. Okay. What are the benefits of globalization of production? The first one is about market right now talking about production. Okay, so a company when go to global, okay, they have the access to lower cost worker. Okay, that's why I, I already mentioned uh, a branded uh, sportwear producer uh, having their uh, their plant or manufacturing plant in uh, the uh, in the country that. Uh, just um, implement or having a uh, very low, uh, very low low uh, labor cost. Okay, so they go there and they can uh, gain more profit, less uh, lessen their lessen their cost, and also um, yes, for sure can offer uh, up to certain price that acceptable. By the market, okay. And second, for a company having globalization of production, they can have the access on technical expertise, okay. Because they explore, uh, explore another country's uh, expertise and the technical, uh, we call it as a technical advancement of that country uh, to help uh, to help them to produce better okay and the last uh, benefit of uh, globalization of production is the access for product uh, access to production production input okay sometimes you may not uh, find your resources at your at your home country okay you must go to another country and get the resources and sometimes you may set up your business in that country. Okay. So 
the quest for natural resources draw many company into international maka that's why more company are competing uh, to put themselves to to get themselves have the opportunity to open their business in the uh, in the uh, in other in other country okay because of the excess of production input yes sometimes you can import but cost or import much more higher than having uh, than exporting your 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 uh, your your management your expertise to that country and build up another plan uh, for the long term for the economy of scale my giving you the best and uh, the best result or the best uh, outcome okay all right okay this is a quick study too you may have your own you can read on your own okay because it's already uploaded into your portal all right okay this is it All right, let we talk about forces driving globalization. Okay. What are the forces? All right, we heard uh, a lot of uh, global cooperation, trade agreement, okay, right now, we go uh, to look into one by one uh, if not uh, full to the fullest but have a little i a uh, little idea uh, how this globalization uh, is something that necessary something that uh, required for a business to go okay First, falling barriers to trade and investment. Okay, there are certain things that you should know. Okay, uh, as we uh, as we uh, see there, general agreement on tariff and trade. Uh, so, this is a treaty designed to promote free trade by reducing the data the tariff and non-tariff barrier to international trade. Okay. So it as you can see here, okay, nation who are signed uh, sign in this get or I'll call it as a general agreement. Okay. Further reduce average tariff on merchandise trade and lower subsidies okay government financial support for agricultural product okay this gives protection to copyright including computer program databases sound recordings and films trademark service mark patents okay you can have it later all right you can have it later for you to to read okay another one uh world trade organization WTO right now is about almost a, a year uh, we heard about WHO World Health Organization right now talking about World Trade Organization okay it is a body uh, where they enforce the rules of international trade okay they have three goals three main goals of WTO first first to have the free flow of trade free flow of trade second have negotiate the further opening of markets third is settle trade dispute among its members so you should not a country so uh, such a country have participated in world trade organization okay first to facilitate in term of trade negotiate in, in term of opening a new market and also settling the dispute Okay, all right. So, international organization that you can 
look for. I think you have already heard about that. First, the World Bank, and second, the International Monetary Fund. Okay, most other countries somehow uh, having their loan. Okay, to develop their nation funding or financing by International Monetary Fund. Okay. It's just some like uh some like my like uh personal loan to us uh, as an individual you have a personal loan for country also have their own loan. Okay, you can ask for that. Okay, the World Bank. Okay, regional trade agreement. Okay, there are a few uh agreement uh, last we have a lot. We have Asian Free Trade Agreement after <coughs> Before this, just how uh, about uh, what? Uh, yeah, the what you call the latest one, uh, full of uh, debate. Okay, about that trade agreement, FTA, free trade agreement. A few countries sign in. Okay, right now you can uh, see here North American Free Trade Agreement. Uh, okay, some of them. Uh, uh, you might see Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation. Those, uh, those association or we call it as a corporation have its own members and they have the rules and regulation they have the 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 call it the mutual understanding between members uh, participated mem members all right three and national output okay together the wto agreement and regional pact have boosted world trade and cross border investment significantly so These are uh, things that uh, you can uh, look this a bit for your information. Okay. All uh, right. First one, falling of trade barrier. Right now, talking about the technological innovation. People cannot have uh, their product or don't have so much time to spend to buy a product uh, internationally acquiring product from other other countries they can have e business or e e-commerce you bought goods from ebay that was uh, sold by japanese uh, sold by china uh, chinese uh, other countries because of, because of the availability, uh, technological investment, then you have the opportunity. Uh, so familiar to us to hear about Alibaba.com, right? Uh, the B2B platform for business to, uh, for business to acquire their, their equipment, uh, products, whatever. Email and video conferencing. Email and video conferencing. Uh, Right now, uh, just uh, when uh, COVID-19 struck uh, on China, right now it's, it was spreaded around the world. Until now, we facing uh, another another very risky wave. Uh, people are uh, back to... Uh, to uh to the mode where everything goes goes online right now even uh even our institution uh, already already uh cited that we need to go for online uh study or we call it online learning because because of this we can achieve okay imagine it was uh, what happened now ha happened in uh, 10 years ago. Yeah, 10 years ago, COVID-19 uh, uh, strike for certain countries. 
we might have very long holiday because we don't have the capability to have uh, video conferencing, online lectures. Uh, so how? Right now, it's not the reason uh, or the S, uh, we call it exclusion um, for not having, uh, for not having uh, learning uh, process uh, since we already have the technology. Uh, to overcome all those, uh, we call it difficulty. Okay, internet. Uh, even though internet quite long time, uh, and right now uh, it was upgraded and very advanced. Okay, company intranet and extranet. Okay. Normally, when uh, uh, talking about sending messages among the members inside the company, you before this previously before having uh, such good technologies. Uh, you wait for memos, uh, written memos. Okay, right now, uh, that's uh, that uh, impossible uh, for you to to put an excuse. Okay, because you can reach uh, uh, using the using the internet or network. Okay, so intranet, extranet, advancement in transportation technologies, even uh, sending product. Uh, Facilitated by by drone, uh, by drone. Uh, you already heard about uh, another who's Amazon, right? Okay, using drone, sending product to the to the client. Okay, um, measuring globalization. Okay, this is a rank in that organization. Okay. The quick study you can read on your own. All right. How about the deep, huh? the job and wages? Okay. Hmm. All right. Some people might oppose this this movement, this uh, wave of having uh, cross border transaction. Okay, they might also mention about uh, eroding the standard of living, ruining ways of life. Okay, in simple word, uh, when you go, uh, when you. Um, Import so much product into a country. How about your How about your your people? Okay, uh, product uh, price become higher. Uh, local product uh, not have not have the opportunity to compete with imported product. Okay, this is a certain issue raised by people who. Think globalization uh, has so much negative impact uh, to the uh, to the nation. Okay. First argument they say eliminates job in the developed in developed nation. Some group claim globalization eliminate manufacturing job in developed nation. Why? Okay, because when you go for uh, global production. You seek for location that provide you very low cost in terms of labor, low cost in terms of raw material acquisition. Okay, so uh, people who work uh, nearby or in home country might suffer uh, losses, might not having uh, opportunity to to earn. Uh, from the business since they it was uh, replaced by other by other country and that other country having an opportunity to get uh, the this or do we call it as uh, the 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 payment or the earning from global company okay so the they criticize. Okay, 
the practice of sending good paying manufacturing job abroad to developed country where wages are a fraction of the cost for international firm. Uh, so they argue that a labor reading made in China, this is uh, often we heard about this, uh, when most of the product uh, we bought from the market, okay, as you can see, or made in China, made in Cambodia, made in Thailand, but it doesn't mean it's counterfeit product. It's a, an original product, but produced uh, at another country, okay? Translate to not made here. Some people accuse that, saying that if it made in China, even though the name it was a branded one, it's not produced here. Okay, so, but, okay, they should accept that producing uh, certain goods in certain countries. Uh, more effect more cost effective compared to producing locally okay uh, for example uh, price of television and some some of our communication devices also made from china okay i won't i uh, i won't uh, try to avoid that i step i admit where our product even though uh, that was a uh, company's where look at some of uh, some countries but produce in another country even once upon a time also i bought a uh, nokia made in china okay it doesn't matter because uh, even though nokia if i'm not mistaken made in finland right okay from finland if i if i do mistake do correct me okay uh, not having uh i'm opening for it Okay, so to illustrate the argument, globalization critic point to the activity of big box retailers such as Costco, uh, Wall and Walmart. Difficult to overstate the power of this retail giant and symbol of globalization. Okay, another one, lower wage, lower wages in developed nation. This group also said that globalization costs worker dislocation that gradually lowers wages. Why? Yeah, they try to uh, accuse that when a manufacturing job is lost in a wealthy nation, the new job pay less than the previous previous one. Okay, those opposed to globalization say this decrease employee loyalty, employee morale, and job secure security. They say this cause people to fear globalization and any additional lowering of trade street barriers okay who are not fear of change because you practice already a uh, few things it's become your your uh, norms change is not an option right now when talking about what you have in, in my ticker down there uh, wear masks in the public area, avoid crowded space, practice good hygiene. It's about 30 years, 50 years ago, you won't practice such, uh, call it, uh, the, it, it's, be, it's not your normal uh, practice uh, to wear this thing. Sometimes you might, huh? you might wondering where this mass produce from. Sometimes not made from local. Okay. Local, it's not locally, locally produced. It's global huh? or international produced product. Come from other country, imported into Malaysia and then sold to the Malaysian. That's why, as an example to this, how about people who were in Malaysia? If we always import this product from the from other country, okay. 
Okay. Why not giving uh, our people the opportunity to produce? Okay. The consideration giving people who uh, produce locally or import from other country back to the capability of that particular business. Okay. It's not simply, it's not simply just uh, let us import the product. It's not, it's a simple thinking like that. It's about very crucial decision to make sure company can earn and pay, uh, pay their wages. Uh, this in time survival or uh, we call it as a sustainability of their, their business. Okay. Some people might say that why not helping uh, why business always uh, talking about profit and profit not talking about the people but try to think like this in that business also have people work in it they look for earning uh, the earn for their living so at the same time a company uh, the own, uh, the business also, uh, owner also think of their own benefit from the from the business. Okay, we, it cannot flatten uh, the markets or push or force the business to uh, to lower it according to the people because they involve people. Okay. They have the 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 they call it um, their own stakeholder to take care of uh, the set of other factors outside. Okay, so having something change might not favorable for certain certain people. Okay, to exploit worker in developing nation. Okay, critic charge that globalization and international outsourcing exploit worker in low wage nation. Okay, one notable critic, uh, for example, uh, cited in this book. Okay, force young Asia, uh, young Asian to discuss their nationality, adopt fake Midwestern accent, and work night when their U.S. customer are uh, wait halfway around around the world. Okay. We heard a lot about um, we call it the exploitation done by uh, giants. Uh, we are not pointing who are they, but certain can certain company uh, exploit their, their or taking an advantage over their capability having a very low cost in terms of labor uh, by not giving uh, good facility because uh, the extension the additional facility might cost them more uh, certain countries might not having good protection over there over their workers or over their people. That's why uh, it's about ethical issue. Okay, there's ethical issue. Uh, for those who want to go abroad, please consider uh, consider the your 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 uh, your uh, countries that you want to go in in terms of their people uh, and uh, other things as well. Okay, for globalization, okay, for globalization increases well and efficiency in all nations, okay, generate labor market flexibility in developed nations and advance the economies of developing nations, okay. Having good investment from other country, uh, I just read about what uh, President of uh, Indonesia, Republic, People Republic of Indonesia, uh, talking about 
uh, opening the market. Some people uh, oppose to that. Uh, what call, they call that? Uh, the omnibus law. Yeah, omnibus law. All right, losing the, the losing the titan of that rule of or that law uh, to open up the the uh, opportunity for other countries corporation to to invest in Indonesia. Why uh, they have their own vision to uh, to to bring something more or better to the people uh, of theirs. Um, having investment for other other companies outside uh, of countries uh, bringing technologies okay might giving the opportunity for local to get better jobs okay sometimes we cannot afford to to work on our own if we are not assisted by someone else uh, we do live uh, we do live together not live alone okay we need to live together okay cool huh? have a complement each other all right uh that one talking about job and wages right now talking about income inequality okay inequality within nations and uh, the gap between white collar and blue collar occupation in rich nation okay inequality between nations why did they get the average income between rich and poor nations and global inequality why did they income inequality between all people of the world okay there's uh, the first uh, more narrow narrower to the uh, very wider okay all right so Right now, talking about the culture, sovereignty, and the environment. I thought it uh, come to uh, might come to the end of the uh, of this first topic. Okay. Uh, talking about globalization and culture. All right. The good thing is it allow us to profit from our differing circumstances and skills. Okay. What are not so favorable to hurt or to hear that uh, homogenizes our all, our world and destroys our rich diversity of culture because you're allowing you're allowing other countries' culture to go in and sometimes uh, your culture not survive and uh, people inside our country also affected by this. Uh, new culture. In terms of sovereignty, national sovereignty, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, what, are, uh, what are the good what are the good thing first? Guardian of democracy. Okay. Giving the opportunity for all. Oh, what uh, and what not favorable to hear is empower supranational uh, supra institution at the expense of national government, cause government to uh, to sacrifice or uh, to giving certain uh, we call it as a space to other other countries to to have. The, to have the power in it, to have the, we call it as a, uh, opportunity to, to look for. Okay, so, and the environment, okay, the international firm support reasonable environment, environmental law and uh, what else, uh, what are the disadvantage okay call it here some environmental groups say globalization cause a risk to the bottom in environmental condition and regulation study should pollution intensive uh, United States firm tend to invest in country with stricter environmental standard 
Okay, some of uh, some of the, of the issue. Uh, if you want to go uh, to have your business in other country, especially in the state, you must strictly follow their their rules and regulation. That's a good uh, good thing. Uh, I should know, right? Okay. Okay, what uh, this globalization or international business, uh, international business might help you for your career, okay, to develop your critical thinking. The ETI, I was already mentioned about that, uh, just a few slides before this. Uh, the communication skill, knowledge, application, analysis. Okay. All right, this is how, uh, how uh, we will look one by one from something broader to something narrower okay as you can see first we talk about the globalization as overall view uh, later we will talk about uh, in depth until how uh, firm hiring the strategy the opportunity and the modes of entry uh, developing the product and also the operation. So see you uh, later. Okay, in more in depth discussion. Okay, more in depth discussion regarding on internet business, eh, international business. This is our first lecture. Later we will talk about our color based on based on the 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 graph or we call it a graphic uh, provided there. Okay, let after this we will talk about cross cultural business. So let's see you in the next session. Bye bye. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.